the bull crap I was going through when I first got into trucking three years ago. Mm. And I finally got to my peak to where I could see the maximum money for what I'm licensed at because I'm licensed automatic. I didn't take a own. Um, Oh, no. I didn't take the CDL test in manual yet, so I still got to get the restrictions off my license. But as far as being an automatic truck driver and running the reefer lane and the, the OTR OTA lane that I'm running, it's the same specific states that I run. I love it, TV. I ain't going to lie, bro. I love really? it, man. The journey was so long with this truck driving jump, bro. You finally seeing some life change of money. Like, yo, you, you had a different life. Yes. Yes, and, and I absolutely, it what really got my attention in that video when you said, don't job hop, do not job hop. I finally was able to job hop one company, and after you said don't job hop, I stayed at that one for one year, that will open my doors. Mm. So you, 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 you killing it over there now, because I know where you at, and it, it, is it more like you built a relationship? Yeah, could I, my brother, I couldn't hear yeah, we'll wait till we get in because this thing be acting stupid. All right. We'll be playing around. You was, you built a relationship with them, and now you feel like you benefiting from the relationship you built? Yeah, yeah, I definitely can say as far as the relationship that I have now with this company, it's very, very more beneficial to me. And anytime that it's an emergency situation at home and I need to slide by the house, my DM makes sure that I slide by the house, make sure I get a load that I can slide by the house and check on everything while still being on the road and not coming home and stopping the money from rolling. Mm, so you just slide through real quick. Just slide through quick. So, so I'm going to be throwing some hard questions at you on this one, but. Okay, okay. If Since you got I'm three, you, you've been driving three years, OTR the whole time. You haven't experienced local yet, which is is is, is smart because yeah, I think I personally am not a local dude. I feel like if you done did two years OTR, you're ruined. You're not gonna be able to be local for real. Yeah, yeah. Because like you're not gonna like it. You you used to you used to be in your own boss basically. You do whatever you want to do. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, absolutely correct. If you were talking to the uh, the youngins. And trying to, um, you know, tell them some shit. They about to get in the game. They about to, they about to drive and everything like that. What do you think you would tell them if it was like your son trying to get in? I definitely tell them your first company, you need to really analyze everything and make sure that's the move that you want to make. Because with your first company, if you was just to stay at one company and do everything that you had and supposed to do the right way, no violation, no tickets, everything is clear you be there for one year them doors are going to open the money may be tight it's going to definitely be tight because you're a rookie you're a sweet butt you're a rookie driver the money's going to be tight you're going to see three hundred dollar checks here two hundred dollar checks here five six you're not going to see up in the thousands like everybody else but you put that time in uh, put that time in them doors will open eventually all right, one second, I'll get you. Is anybody else here? I need you back in oh, someone else here. Uh, yeah, 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 one more, one more. And he killed you. No, nah, that's some true stuff, though, bro. <laughs> that's one thing you don't learn when you get in, because people never talk about it. It's like, we, you young getting in, and it's like, you make mistakes, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you yes. make mistakes, and, you know, that gives them encouragement, the people listening, and that gives them encouragement to know that it's going to get better, and, you have to get better at the job because I'm sure when you first started, you you made some mistakes that you would look back and be like, I was messing up at my first company. Absolutely, especially being late. That's the thing. When I first started the company, I was a little too comfortable, just a little bit too comfortable and didn't really know everything. But being late will catch up to you. A company will get rid of you for just for being late because you, you're not helping the company. You're being late. Being late is a lot of consequences behind that because – they're looking at, okay, you being late in this low. They got other companies that will be there on time. Right. Being on time and staying on the phone. When you're a truck driver, you're fresh. You want to be on the phone all types of nights. Yeah, baby, I miss you. I love you. Oh, no. When that 10 hours was up, when that 10 hours is up, that truck got to roll. So and, how, it, and you got to get it in. So how much you think boo loving affects people being late? Like a, a percentage? Especially with the young guys. 90. They so gonna you be on that phone. You was boo loving. I was boo loving all <laughs> times of the night. 
I ain't even paying attention to the clock. I'm like, well, I'm on a 10-hour break. Before you know it, it's already been six, seven hours in the sleeper. I only got three more hours to go to sleep to get some rest to, to prepare for a full, close to 11-hour day coming. It was horrible. Plenty of days I woke up mad, angry just because I only got three, possibly two hours of sleep. That's crazy. Yeah. You, know, you try to make it mistake. up the next day. Because, you know, when you're that young yes. in a game, you don't really know about a sleep debt. You're building a sleep debt up and, mm. you know. Oh, sh why did I just don't jump back? Up. What happened? Yeah, you're, building a, <laughs> you're building a sleep debt up, and it, it does catch up to you, bro. Like Absolutely. You'll know when you get behind that wheel. Start yawning like, come on, I just started driving. I'm yawning. It's going to be a bad day. Yeah. It's going to be a real bad day because safety first. Your life comes before the load. You got to pull that truck over because there's no reason to drive behind the wheel. Sleep. Yeah, I mean, you know, sleep deprivation is, is, is torture, according to the government. It's literally torture. So it's like that feeling bad, the way you feel it, it's a bad feeling, bro. Like they do it. They do it in war crimes. Like, it's a flat-out war crime to do that. So when you're playing with your sleep, you know, you need to get your boo-loving done during the day. Do you see him? Yes. Do you see this dude? I do not see him. Yeah, so you need to get your boo-loving during, uh, during the day. So what was your best paycheck you think you've gotten just being 1099? Ooh, the best check that I got was so far 1099, and I started 1099 this year. The best check I got was at least... 2300 and i got that a couple of times and that's on some you really company you don't got your own truck none of that you came home with 2300 dollars. came home with 2300 dollars in a week flexible in a week in a week when that friday comes oh, it's lovely you see him he's banging at us oh yeah yeah y'all see him no <laughs> but i mean that's 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 good money man it is, brother. It is. It that's is. And a lot of truck drivers, the young young guys I talk to, they're like, man, I'm not making no money. I'm not making no money. Well, I'm like, well, tell me this. Are you being late? Are you running it hard? Are you running it tight? Are you staying on time? Like, tell me what it is. Yeah, you know, I'm being late a couple times, but that still should, you know, that means no, a lot. It means a lot. It means a lot, bro. You're, you're not on time. And the truth is, if you're not on time and you can control it, like, there's things that you just can't stop. But if it's up to you and you're not on time, you're not doing your job, bro. It's that simple. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're spoiled. You're not, you're not taking full advantage of it. Like you said, do the boo loving during the day. Do it during the drive shift because when it get late, get towards that time, okay, you can be on the phone for a little hour or so, but you, your body needs that sleep. It needs it bad. Yeah. I mean, you can crash and kill yourself, man. Like, it's, it's not a joke. So... Definitely. What do you think about the people who, who don't like? What do you think about the people who, who have are against lease? Enemy Hold on. Oh, someone's falling on us. What do you think about lease? Are you are you thinking about lease? Because you, you kind of you kind of semi leasing now. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's something you want to do or do you think 1099 with no responsibilities is the best way to go? It's see both uh, both of them have pros and cons definitely with it. But so far right now, I'm loving this 1099. Just the fact that because I don't got no payment coming out of my check, I'm loving it. But also with have doing the lease, you can see a lot more money yeah. than 1099. Yeah, because you can you can go over and be his percentage. But I mean, there's some there's yes. some company joints that is percentage but you're only getting like 26 percent of you're not getting like 80 percent and all that type of stuff i i definitely uh, a couple more years in the game i would like to do that in the future i would i would like to lease my own truck and trailer the whole shebang no man I, especially I, you only live once I, yeah hey man i suggest everybody do it once because what it does is it lets you appreciate the different situations you in you can't really say I don't want to do something if you ain't tried it. Right. You're definitely right about that. And then still be want to say, oh, man, I wish I, w I could have leased when I was driving trucks early in the game. Why didn't you do it? You see these fools? Yeah, I see one. Someone's to our yeah, left. I see another one, too. Yep, to our left and in front of us. Definitely to our left. Two of them. I need plates. Come here. On my way. No, that's definitely something that people don't be understanding, man. It's like a lot of... They gonna push us eventually. Mm -hmm. Got it. Here you um, go. Bust the mine. There you go. He got me. 
Someone looking at our back. Someone behind you. He's around you. And he's the king. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. He's going to kill me. Watch out for him. I'm coming back. Yeah, big bro. If I could change I'm definitely going to try it. If I could change everything, I think that, um, you know, if you could do stuff over, if I could start my career over, I definitely would have. I would have. When people say, oh, I'd have stayed at my company, the truth is I'd have picked better from the beginning. But that's I life. I definitely understand that. That's life. You don't know right. what you're picking in the beginning, so you really can't say that. Like, You're right. Because you're just right. picking shit to be picking it. Like, you, don't, you don't really know what you're picking. That's right. That's right. Because uh, if I could, if I could have, I would have picked a better school and a better place to start truck driving period because with the place I first started it just it just definitely wasn't it bro if you don't mind where, where did you start back in the day I started at CRST it was tough bro it was so tough I don't recommend nobody go there nobody I thought I had it rough jeez bro. it was rough bro and that the is... fact that I had to sleep in a chair every night because my roommate snores so bad, I, I that starting starting off we had to have roommates. That's crazy work, bro. They got to get up early in the morning, around about six o'clock on the dot, and be in class. He's here. After a horrible sleep. Yep, two of them. Got gotcha. you. Ran out of bullets. Got gotcha. you, oh, bitch. Ran out of bullets. So you had to freaking Do sleep it. in the dang on truck. That's crazy in the seat. That's crazy. Yeah, right in the seat, man. Cause the bed, it ain't had no bed, nothing but like the outline of it, just the hard, real thick material stuff. Like it was horrible, bro. Oh my God, they're so deep. Where we at? Jeez. I see you. It got to one they're point. On my father see that. Your father said what? Dang. It got to one point. My father had already had brought me a ticket, a bus ticket to go back home, cause I literally was gonna give up. Good thing you did, man. You give me how much money you done made did. since then? Oh my God. It's the most money I've ever made in my life. Legally. Legally. Right. That's and I've thing. been working since I was 16. Right. That's legal <laughs> money. Like, it's like no one's looking for you. Like, that's your money. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's great, bro. Like, I'm so happy you, uh,. You liking where you at and stuff, man. You stay there as long as, you, long as possible, man. I be thinking about getting back on the road, man. Hey, but see, I got to give you thanks, too. Because as far as the motivation and the fight that you can do it and the teaching at that, I have to give all that thanks to you. Not myself, but you. Because you, you spread the knowledge before anybody else did. You spread the actual knowledge of how to do it. Because they're not going to teach you it. They didn't go over, like, how to run tight. In nah. class, it's the thing that they didn't teach in class, you taught, like literally. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're teaching you how to be safe. They're not teaching you how to make yeah. money. No, somebody sniper too. What direction? Same from that building over there. Who's shooting at? I really need something with uh, with uh, I don't got no range, bro. No range, me neither. Well, yeah, no, you're right, man. Cause they'll teach you how to how to be safe and keep their equipment good, but not how to bring no money to the house. Absolutely, mm mm, they didn't teach that. We need to move. And a lot of the trainers don't teach it either. No, they're just a. a tr let's let's talk about that. The trainers are just using you to make some money. That's the truth. A lot yes. of trainers are like that. Some trainers are good though, but. A lot yeah. of trainers are just using you to make make themselves more money. They don't care if you do good afterwards or not. Like I said, if you're with a trainer and you're not keeping in touch afterwards, you had a sucky trainer. It's that simple. Yes, absolutely. If you don't know where your absolutely. trainer is three months after training, you you don't you don't mess with him. Absolutely. And it's two it's two of my two guys that train me that I definitely won't keep in contact with at all. Two of them. Cause they train me, and the bad, the crazy thing about it, both of them was alcoholics. At that, they were drinking while you were on the truck. Man, whew. I'm not gonna throw his name out, but the specific one, he had an AR-15 on the truck, Jeez. a Glock 40 on the truck, and he always used to get little fireball shots, and he had that on the truck. And I, in my mind, I'm like. 
hold up, this is not right. He's like, just no telling about it. But I see, I'm a fresh, sweet boy rookie. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still new to the game. I knew it was illegal, but I didn't know. He telling me, oh, everything will be all good. You know, brainwashing me. Mm -hmm. But if something would have happened, knowing how these days and time is, if he would have said that was mine, I could have got in trouble for that. Oh, yeah. Because that's I think they probably would have believed him. Because just, just how this world is. You know, just how this world is. Right. You know. Because he's the trainer. And you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He definitely yes. puts your, your, your joint at risk, bro. Yes. Him. My first two trainers was alcoholics. It just wasn't working. So, no no lie. My first two trainers, I made up lies to get away from them. Like, I just made up lies. Like, nah. I didn't just say, nah, they can't do it. I just came up with a line. Like, nah. I have a family of mercy. I need to go home ASAP. Yeah. that, that I mean, that's the best way to do down one. That's the best way to do it. We hitting these fools without a goddamn freaking sniper rifle. Mm, yeah, they, they got their snipers, uh-huh. No, I mean, that's I agree with you doing that, bro, because it's like he putting your stuff at risk. And I have a, I have a strong belief that if you go out on the road for 30 days and you can't drink, you got a problem. Like, if you, if you have mm, to drink mm. in those 30 days, you got a problem. Yes, absolutely. No. Especially you're the trainer. Like, how is you? How, what? One, what type one, of, one of his leadership people, is you? One of his people is backdooring us because he's close for no okay. reason. I got some lines on the stairs. Is there? Is there a ladder on this building? I think so. Either. Here we go. Shoot, he is not playing. Yeah. Got a bad though. There you go. Jeez, such jokes. Nah, man, you shouldn't have to go through. So I'm sorry you went through that, bro. That's crazy. Cause what if he'd have derailed your whole career, bro? Yes, before he even took off and got started. So in my mind, I told myself, yeah, I can't do this. So I had to come up with a lie to get a plane ticket. And that was my first time ever flying on an airplane home. First time ever on an airplane, period. So when did you, did you say you wanted to stop working with them? Or did you think, I, don't, I want to stop trucking altogether? At that point, I had just wanted to stop working with them just because how the first trend that they gave me, somebody right here, he down. First trainer they the first trainer they gave me, I was like, ain't no way this gonna work. He got himself up. Somebody was downstairs too. Oof. Where are you at? Just die. I had die. One trying to come up the stairs. Go through a couple of miles. But yeah, man. Oof. It was a mess. But I can't say as far as driving the truck and backing it up and learning my maneuvers. I have to give credit where it all is due. His name was Victor Whitehead. He was an older white guy, around 65 years old. He taught me how to drive a truck. Be because the two weeks I was with him, wasn't listening to no music, just pure silence. Is just drive the truck. Is the is uh, I think I think down, down, he broke. Oh yeah, he down. Get out of here, chump. We talking, but we paying attention, <laughs> Playboy. On Elvo. Exactly. We can multitask. We yeah. have a business over here. <laughs> Get your mind we truckers. together. Drop, we can multitask. They're going to come from okay. the top as well. It's our pocket right here. They're going to have to push us. All right. No, oh, but yeah, that's crazy you went through that, bro. That's crazy. I mean, my thing is, I always wanted to give my students a good experience. Like, I took them to the movies, all type of stuff. Ooh. I paid for all mm. their food, all their showers. When I got a hotel, I got them a separate room, everything. So, like, Ooh, teaming sweet. with me was, like, uh, uh, or training with me was definitely a good experience. I know it was, and a, and a teachable training experience at that. Oh, to the left. There you go. He already on us. He on us. He on us? Oh. Oh, my God. Wow. Dang. I mean, they just waited, bro. Yeah. Just waiting in the whole time. The whole time. He just sat there. They just sat on us and waited, bro. I got to go back. I ain't going to make it. Bro. Yeah. He doing a victory dance. Yeah, that, probably, that probably been his only kill this match. <laughs> he only got two kills. <laughs> yeah. Dang. No, bro. I'm happy. I mean, I hope you keep being able to, um, you know, make money and enjoy your career and everything like that, even with the, you know, different things that's going on what what do you think about the strike you think we should get something like that man i really do man if we was to do that we would turn america around as far as for our profession yeah yes
We would. But the crazy thing is, you got those people out there that's going to take any and anything that they throw at them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to hurt us. Yeah, because the truth is, you're not a collective. That's what that collective bargaining is. It's everybody is bargaining with the same agenda in mind. And when you're not mm -hmm. united, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, you, 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 you can't get that done. So it's one and at the port, and they, they had a union there, right? The, uh, the ports, yeah. Oh yeah, the port is a is a is a union. Yeah, two hundred year old union at that. Oh, my God. Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed the live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for Rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into 